So what does God say to Adam and Eve when they marry? Right. For this cause shall a man leave their father and mother and the wife too, right? And cleave unto each other, and they too shall be one flesh, right? So who's the father and mother out of Eve? But God, but God, right? He made two from one and took bone and flesh from Adam to make her, right? You can only do that if Adam was a hermaphrodite, by the way, by the way. Who's lying to you? Satan? Men? <laughs> they want to be the primary image of God. Right. They're not. <laughs> right. They're the secondary image. They're the middle image. They're between the androgynous and the female. Mm. <clears throat> Though God has a mediator between him and man. The hermaphrodite image. Yeah, man. Now, it also makes sense if the angels did sin in Genesis up to Genesis 6, right, and became human, right, and had sex with the daughters of men, whoever they chose, right, that that would put the hermaphroditic gene in with the male and female gene. The one gene would still be dominant, right, over the other, right, <laughs> So, like I said, the natural, right. <clears throat> now, David in Psalms 27.10 said, the father and mother forsake me, then Yahuwah, using the Hebrew name, right, from Eliyahu, which is Elijah's real name, his full name, right, if you will, if you will, <laughs> Now, Yahoo becomes Yahuwah, the divine name, right? And that's why he ran from Jezebel, the woman, <laughs> right? Uh huh. <laughs> he understood Yahuwah. <laughs> you don't, you don't. You can't even say it now for some reason, right? And you're making that up, right? That's why he says, I will send Moshe. Right. He, his name ends with an A-H, right? M, either S-S or S-H. H, right? <clears throat> There's three letters to Moses' name, <laughs> right? And in the same in the Greek, except the O, right, is an actual letter. Right, right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. One is Mosh. Ah, mm hmm. Like Sarah, mm hmm. And other men, Hannah's husband had a feminine name too, right. Even Abigail, for instance, means father of joy. Right, right. <laughs> right. Well, actually, joy is the name of the girl. Mm -hmm. Gail is joy. Right. Abby is father. <laughs> right. Abigail is father of joy. Of joy. <laughs> And that's just a simple name study into the Hebrew. Right. And Deborah and Holdah. Which has to do with the weevil. For some reason. Right, right. Now Holdah taught the men from the Torah, from the college, from the Mishrach. Right, or somewhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> And Isaiah also said that the Lord said, as one whom his mother comforts, so will Anoki, I, I in the Hebrew, right, <laughs> comfort you, comfort you. As a mother comforts her son or her child, right, I will also comfort you, right. And then in Second Edris, it goes into more detail, right. 
It says God came to us as a father and a mother. And a mother, right. And will gather us under its wings as a hen gathers her brood, her chicks, and, uh, if you will, mm, under her wings. And, uh, so, that's in the Apocrypha, though, that Jesus is quoting it. No, no. He's quoting from the Apocrypha, crazy Christians. <laughs> right. You don't know where that comes from? <laughs> right. Well, you're not reading the Apocrypha fully. Right. You were told by false pastors, false priests, false men. Right. Not to read it. Right. And you didn't read it. Right. So you don't know what Jesus is even coming from. Or where Jesus is even coming from. Right. But four times, including in the Apocrypha, God is compared to both a mother and a father. Mm-hmm. In Genesis, right, when he made Adam and Eve, <laughs> right, and said, leave your father and mother, which was God, <laughs> right? <laughs> because he made two, two, right. <laughs> and two from one. If I have extra flesh, I'm not the same with that.